Each time you have a volunteer opportunity with DeRote, it's always a meaningful interaction. Hey, thank you. Nice to meet you too. Helping out anybody is kind of like a core value within me. Even though they're strangers, they're really not. I always felt very comfortable talking to older adults. It was a different outlet to connect with people. The best way, in a sense, for our own individual growth is to make a difference in other people's lives. I'm not stuffing envelopes, copying papers. I'm actually interacting with a person and getting to know them. I'm more than just some guy that's delivering. You know, I'm someone that has a purpose. That's like what I love about it. You're in the house, you're not in the museum now. So. <laughs> My wife was from Antwerp, Belgium. She wasn't in the camps, but she was in flight for two years. To her, the tapestries were freeing herself from the trauma. Now she wanted to free others. These tapestries are my way of retrieving the life of my wife. The responses that I've gotten are just wonderful. That's, to me, extraordinary. Going into someone's home, visiting the elderly, is like travel. Hi, Evelyn. I'm Beth Ann. Hi. You know, you can visit another country, you can learn about somebody else's culture, you can see sites that you would never see. Oh, look at this. You make new friends. You know, that's like the surprising thing. You guys have a lot of things in common. There are a lot of similarities between different people, but then you also have totally different lived experiences. You realize that no conversation is really that trivial because you're connecting and you're getting to know someone more. My family is uh, from Egypt. The best thing about connecting with an older adult it makes you learn a lot about the individual, but also kind of makes you learn more about yourself. It's surprising. I feel like people who don't do this work kind of miss out on like unlocking this gate within themselves taking the saviorism element out of service work is really important to me because of the ability for service work to be mutually beneficial. You are just getting so much experience and ability, communication skills and leadership skills and the ability to connect in ways that are really meaningful. Hello, thank you for having us. Welcome. The road sees as its primary role is servicing the elderly. This puts it the other way around, that it enables me to take these tapestries and to bring them as a needed and powerful message to young people. I'm driven by this, because uh, I feel there's such a need for it. In 1946, I went to France as a student volunteer for the rehabilitation of children from Auschwitz. It was like a revelation for me. It's possible to make a difference in people's lives. When I was young, I was extremely close to my grandparents. I think it was really core values that my parents taught me to honor, to respect the elderly, to include our grandparents in family celebrations. I think that service has always been where I felt that I can have leadership and feel my voice is heard. It's been an outlet for quiet leadership for me. I'm a biology major on the pre-med track. I'm planning to become a doctor and to help serve the underrepresented. I want to be one of the reasons that they believe in good people. As human beings, we are social creatures. We're designed to interact. It is not hard to volunteer at Derot. You can do a one-time package delivery. If you have a regular schedule, then you can be a friendly visitor. If you're good at technology, connect through tech. If you have a special skill, you can teach a class. Whatever your interests are, there's something at Derot that's waiting for you. It's a yearning, a yearning for a sense of significance that somehow our life has purpose. The true impact is how you are able to change as a person and how you're able to see things in a different light. I obviously see it within myself, but then when you get thank you notes and you get a long-term connection with someone, you realize that the impact was beyond you. Morally, spiritually, we're all trying to be good human beings. We all want to make the world a better place. People do art because there's something inside that they, they can't verbalize. Take that need and try to feed that hunger by connecting to others. If we can help somebody else navigate their world, we're also helping navigate ourselves. And here I'm going on 99 and 
my life has meaning. Thank you, folks. Hey.